By default, Windows Remote Desktop will only work on your local network. If you want to access Remote Desktop from outside your network, I'll guide you how to do that. Before you get started, enable Remote Desktop on the PC you want to access. Please remember the username and password of this PC because you will need them to log into this PC remotely from other devices. If you use the Microsoft account to create a Windows user account, then the username and password would be your Microsoft account email and password. Now we have to expose the remote desktop directly to the internet by setting up port forwarding on your router. Since different routers have different interfaces, it's not possible to give instructions specific to you. Here, I'll show the basic steps on a TP-Link N router. Make sure you are connected to your network. First, you'll need to know the IP address of the PC running remote desktop. The easiest way to do this is to open the command prompt and enter the ipconfig command. From here, note down the IP version 4 address. You may also want to set up a static IP address on the computer. This will ensure that the computer's IP address won't change. Next, log into your router and go to port forwarding section. Here, forward port 3389 to the IP address of the remote PC. Next, note down the WAN IP address of your router. Please remember, if your WAN IP address is not a static IP, then you may be required to set up a dynamic DNS service so that you can always connect to the remote PC even if the IP address changes. So let's quickly set up a dynamic DNS service. You can skip these steps if you have a static WAN IP. I am going to use the no IP DDNS service. You may have a different service provider on your router. We need to register a free no IP account. Once you create your account, just copy your host name and enter it in the domain name field. Then enter your no IP username and password. Enable DDNS and log into the dynamic DNS service. Once you set up the dynamic DNS, you no longer need to worry about your public IP address changes. Guys, remember the domain name because you will need this to connect to the remote PC. Finally, everything is set up. Now let's see if we can connect to this remote PC from a different network. I am on my other computer and you can see I am connected to a different network. The easiest way to connect to the remote PC over the internet is by using the inbuilt remote desktop app in Windows. The remote desktop app is also available on Microsoft Store, Google Play Store and Apple App Store. So you can access the remote computer from Windows, Mac, Android and iOS devices. To start a new connection, you need to enter the public IP address of the remote PC. It's basically the WAN IP of your router. If your router's WAN IP is static, then you can just enter the IP address here. And if you have set up a dynamic DNS service, you have to enter the domain name of the dynamic DNS. Then enter the Windows username of the remote desktop. Enter the password of the remote desktop. Now the connection to the remote computer should start immediately. It does require a fair bit of setup to get remote desktop working over the internet. But once you have got the setup done, remote desktop provides a reliable way of accessing your PC remotely and without requiring any additional software.